so that you don't even smell like smoke. After going through fire, why are you afraid of the fire? Akini udah kalan sendiri beli ayam bodoh. Akini ini malam gula visa dengan mandi sunnah. Perang akini ini kandi yang bayar pada bandu. I like the example of Daniel. Daniel udah udah orang ramu beri gambar ni. He was in the lion's den. Singa kebiler na apa? What to do when you are in lion's den? Singa kebiler ikam bodoh. Enam bandu deh. Gotta preach one day on that. Ada bodoh tu nak pasang bodoh ni negara. Now, if you let some of our people in the lion's den, they'll be fasting and praying there. <laughs> and, and, and they'll be just crying out to God and screaming on, or doing something like shaking everywhere. But Daniel didn't do any of those things. He was not in tension. He was not under pressure. The king felt some pressure. He was coming again and again looking what happened. <laughs> And nothing happened to this guy. He's fine. Because the Lord had shut the lion's mouth. Daniel had a good fellowship time with the lion. He probably told the lion, shut up and sit down. Because the Bible says God has created man in such a way that he'll have dominion over everything. That's an animal. Here is a man made in the image and likeness of God. That is a natural thing. This, this man is a spiritual man. He is a spirit. So he sat there all night and he was not afraid. He was not having a, you know, crying party or pity party or fasting prayer meeting. We need the fasting prayer meeting before you go to the lion's den. <laughs> and in the fasting prayer meeting, we need to meditate upon these wonderful promises. Why fasting? Because fasting will probably help you to concentrate on the promises of God and understand them even better. And when you go to the lion's den, you can eat. The lions were fasting. Let them fast. You eat. <laughs> because you have already fasted. You have already understood the promises of God. You are going through it. You know you will come out of it unscathed. It's how you look at the promises of God. See, the promises of God are there, but how do we look at them? Are, are we looking at them as something great? In magnitude, or are we looking at the problems as something great? If you can learn to look at the promises of God as something great, it will be wonderful. That for that, you need to meditate upon God's word and the picture of God's word must get into your heart. You need to begin to understand the promises of God and you begin to see yourself in light of the promises. What does God say here? I have formed you, that means I made you. I redeemed you. And I have called you by your name. And you are mine. Everybody say, I am God. You need to declare that. I am formed by God, redeemed by God, called by name by God. And I am God's property. Let's say those four things. I am formed by God, made by God. I am made by God. I am redeemed by God. I am called by name. 
and i am god's property naan devunudey sothu let's see it say it even more simply i am made by god manu sol naan devunal undagapatta van i'm saved by god devunal rakshikapatta van i'm called by my name yen per solli naan devunane alithirukkira and i belong to god naan devunukku sondamana van god owns me devunukku naan sondam i'm in god's hand naan devunde kaigalil irukkiren jesus said nothing in this world can snatch away that which is in his hand yesu sonnar ennude kaigalil irukkiradai oru onu parithukolla mudiyadhu hallelujah hallelujah i am in god's hand naan devunde kaigalil irukkiren when you are in trouble that's what you think about that i am in god's hand rachana irukkumbodhu ningal enna nenaikka vendum naan devunde kaigalil irukkiren i am in god's hand naan devunde kaigalil irukkiren he is round about me like a big wall like walls around jerusalem so my God is around about. Jerusalem is surrounded by madal gal sundar ke do bola yenne surrounded by devan irukkara. The angels of the Lord encamp around them that that fear him. Patter ke bayandarle sura deva thudeyal gal paalai merangira. See yourself in that light. And the velichathile ungalai paarungal. Don't be thinking and meditating about the problem. Think about God's protection. The blood of Jesus that has been sprinkled around you. The wall of protection that been that's been raised. The fence that God has put around you. And how great and the magnitude of his protection rachinigale ini dhyana panni kondirukka vendam maaraga yesu christude ratthai enni paarungal ungale sutthil oru paadugappu aran pola adirukirade devudey vaakkathangalai enni paarungal avargal maga menmayulla veigal and when you do that you must declare it adhai appadi seiyumbodhu neengal adhai vaai therna arivikka vendam you must say i am made by god neenga solana na devanal undaakkapatta i am redeemed saved by him devanal naan meekkapatta van rakshikkapatta van i am called by name devanal per solli alikkapatta van and i belong to நான் தேவனுக்கு சொந்தம் ஐ ஆம் இன் காட்ஸ் ஹேண்ட் நான் தேவனுடைய கைகளில் இருக்கிறேன் நதிங் கேன் டேக் மீ அவே ஃப்ரம் காட் ஏதோ மேனை தேவனுடைய கையில இருந்து பறிக்க முடியாது ஐ ஆம் சேஃப் இன் தி ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் காட் தேவனுடைய கைகளில நான் பத்திரமா இருக்கிறேன் ஹalleluya hallelujah just keep meditating upon that அதே தியானம் பண்ணி கொண்டு இருக்க just keep saying that அதே சொல்லி கொண்டு இருக்க think of that as something big அத வந்து ஒரு பெரிய காரியமா எண்ணுங்கள் then fear will be nowhere அப்புறம் பார்ப்பீர்கள் பயம் அங்க இருக்கவே இருக்காது hello hello there will be no place for fear அங்க பயத்துக்கு இடமே இருக்காது If you sat there frozen in fear and just thinking about your problem, then fear will stay permanently. Why it will be? Where is your problem? Then you know, but why? Narendra ma angi eriko. When you feel afraid, you need to get up. You know, why? But you know, 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 you இதே போல தான் انا வேற விதத்துல அப்படி சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கு பாருங்க verse 17 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment thou shall condemn உனக்கு விரோதமாய் உருவாக்கப்படும் எந்த ஆயுதமும் வாய்க்காதே போம் உனக்கு விரோதமாய் நியாய தீர்ப்பில் எழும்பு எந்த ஆவை நீ குற்றப்படுத்துவாய் everybody say no weapon formed against me shall prosper எல்லாம் சொல்றோம் எனக்கு விரோதமாய் எழும்பு எந்த ஆயுதமும் வாய்க்காதே now We have always quoted this verse from verse seventeen. पालने पालने अरा वासन तो नहीं ये पौधे में इधर हम चली रखो। But you got to read verse sixteen to understand. आना इधर वाले इनको तो पालना रे नहीं वासी करो। Verse sixteen says, पालना तो चली रखो। I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. इधो करी ने रुपये ऊरी तन करी एक आना आये दते उंडू पन गरा कोल्ला नहीं ना सरस्ती देन कड़ित निकरा माँ के गरा वनी ना सरस्ती देन देन इट सेज नो वेपन फॉर्म्ड अगेंस्ट यू शेल प्रोस्पर अरे तो सुन लेते उन्हें क्यों रोज़ माय उरुवा को बड़े इंदा आये द मुंबई का दे बो इन अदर वर्ड्स वेपन्स आर बीइंग प्रिपेयर्ड अगेंस्ट Hands. You know, don't don't be afraid of him because I made him. I'm not going to buy a brother.